Hey there, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all fine and welcome to the Divine. It is me here, Dion. And in today's video, we will be spying a little on what your person is thinking. Because if you've had someone block you, ghost you, or just simply stop texting, we're going to find out why that is. So I want to help you understand what's going on and I will be giving you my honest opinion based on what I see in your cards. So if you are not ready to hear the truth, because I will not be sugarcoating, then please don't watch this video. So if you don't think you can handle this, if you still feel very sensitive, then I recommend not watching because it might be better not to know. But in case you do want to know, welcome. <laughs> So what I want you to do is you simply choose one of these five different stacks of cards. We've got the angel light on the left. That's number one. Then we've got peridot. It's peridot, not period. It's number two. Then zebra stone in the middle, number three. Cinnabar is going to be number four. And the purple amethyst will be the last one, number five. I just want you to trust your intuition, think about this person, what could have possibly gone wrong. There should be one of these piles that sticks out to you for whatever reason. Go with your gut instinct, don't even think about it too much, don't choose your favorite color, just choose the card that you resonate with the most when thinking about this person. Also I just want to say, it doesn't matter if this is a friend that you used to have or if this is a lover or a love interest, someone that you might have been interested in doesn't matter we'll figure it out and I'll give you different possibilities as to what could have happened so yeah I'm just waiting for you to choose your card and if you've done that just select the corresponding chapter you can do that now with a new YouTube update or I'm gonna also put the timestamps in the description so I'm just gonna wait for you to select if you need any more time feel free to pause the video because we're gonna get started with the first one now all right. Hey there, group number one. Let's find out what's going on with your person and why they ghosted you. So as for your tarot cards, we've got the Four of Swords, the Chariot card, the Two of Cups, and then we've also got Jealousy and Voyage or Journey. Interesting. While I'm honestly thinking that your person just needed a break, um, they, they didn't feel like they could match your energy anymore because I do feel like you were extremely bubbly in this connection. You were very outgoing, friendly, excited, and they just weren't able to really match that energy. They were more quiet, reserved, and actually tired of everything that's been going on. I am thinking that they honestly just, they wanted to take a break. They... They just couldn't do it anymore and they don't really feel like you're the one for them whether this is a romantic relationship or a friendly connection actually I do feel like this could be a very jealous friend a very jealous person based on the cards that we are seeing and I'm also thinking they are jealous of the fact that you are this way, that you have this bubbly personality, that you can do pretty much whatever, that you're just so easy to talk to, that you're really easy going, that's what I'm thinking. Or there is definitely something that they are jealous of in this connection. And they just couldn't live with the fact that you are in some way better than them. Let's let's just be honest. And they didn't feel like you were a vibrational match, that's what I'm seeing. So they want to kind of continue their journey and they want to find someone that is more suitable for them. They want to find someone that is a better match, let's say, because let's be honest, they did not feel like you were their two of cups. They did not feel like you were their soulmate or, you know, the best friend that they wanted or the relationship that they wanted so they want to with the chariot they kind of want to continue their search they kind of want to move on in peace they don't have anything to hold against you but I I do think they are a little bit jealous as I've said because 
I don't know, I feel like they want to be the dominant one and you didn't really allow them to be. Or they want to be the one in control or they want to be the, let's say, the, the better one. So that you have a lot to learn from them. But I feel like here in this connection it was kind of like the other way around. You had to teach them some stuff. And that's what really bothered them because they, they weren't really used to this. And then the last card, the card that we're seeing is the card of a journey. So I am thinking this could have to do with them moving away. This could have to do with them going someplace else, especially with the chariot and the journey card. They are headed for some somewhere else. I feel like a lot of them might be moving physically away from you. So they didn't want to make it harder for you when they know that they're going to be gone soon. They didn't want to pursue this relationship anymore. That's what I'm really honestly getting. And yeah. They, I, I do feel like they decided to ghost you. They, they didn't completely block you or something. I, I just feel like this person has slowly stopped caring about you, if that makes sense. Like, they've slowly stopped texting you until eventually they did stop texting you all together, if that makes sense. I feel like this is pretty much what's happened. And the reason why they did that is because they didn't want to make it too hard for you. They, di they didn't want to break your heart. So I'm thinking they just sort of like try to let you go in the nicest way possible, although there is no like nice way about this. I'm also thinking that they probably have said something along the lines of, you know, it's not it's not about you. This is about me. This is not this has nothing to do with you. This is a problem that I have because that's exactly how it is. There's nothing that is wrong with you, but there is certainly something wrong with the way they feel or the way they think. They just feel like they cannot match your vibration. They just feel like they cannot match your personality. They you're too much for them. You're too you're too bubbly, you're too outgoing, you're too friendly. I don't I don't know what what their personality is like, but that's that's what I'm really feeling with your pile. And they've probably said something like, "Yeah, it's this is about me. This has nothing to do with you." And that's exactly the way it is. So, yeah, you guys deserve someone better than them. You deserve someone that will give you everything you want. I'm also thinking the Chariot and the Two of Cups could be a message for you. The Chariot means if you have the courage to move on, if you move on with confidence, then you will be able to find a way better match, the Two of Cups, that will be your soulmate match. Whether this is about a friend, your pretty much your other half, someone that you can tell everything, or whether this is about a love connection you will be able to find them very soon because if you look at the chariot any closer you can see that the two lovers they're kind of like chained together they're not being together because they want to they're kind of forced to be together so i do feel like this is exactly how your person could have felt towards the end like they were sort of forced to hang out with you although they didn't completely want to and I know it can be a tough pill to swallow, but I'm here to tell you the truth. You guys are meant to move on. That is a clear message. This person was not meant to be in your life forever. This person was not your soulmate or your twin flame. They were just someone you could learn from. Actually, I'm thinking more so they were able to learn from you more than you were able to learn from them. So good for them. They de you definitely taught them a lesson, okay? I'm going to say it like that. And I hope that this did resonate with you. If you did enjoy this reading, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and follow my Instagram if you want. Thank you, guys. Hey there, group number two. Let's find out what's going on with your person. So as for your tarot cards, we've got the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Wands as well. And then we've also got two more cards, this kind of Priest and Card of Merriment, Happiness. All right, what is going on with this person? Uh, it's honestly, they're honestly quite conflicted. 
I feel like they have very wrong perception of you because what I'm getting here is that they want a fresh start. Your person wants to start over peacefully. They want to get rid of all the bad vibes, all the negative vibes in their life. And they do, for some reason, feel like mm, you've given them like the wrong vibes. Like They didn't like it. They didn't like the way either you treated them or the way you were acting in front of this person. But... They didn't want to hurt you. They didn't want to say it. This person's quite shy to begin with. Like, if they have something that's bothering them, they don't talk about it immediately. Like, you would have to pretty much investigate to see what, what's wrong with them. But, um, this person, like, as you can see with the Nine of Wands, they're kind of shy in telling you the truth. They don't really want to tell you the truth as to why they're doing this because they don't want to hurt you. They think. It is just the easiest way to block you or like the easiest way to just stop talking to you instead of, you know, arguing with you because I am getting that you guys might have been arguing and they didn't like that. This person's, I feel like, going through a spiritual awakening. We've got a lot of spiritual stuff going on here as well. They're learning more about themselves and I just feel like they've evolved. They've evolved from you and you've evolved from them like there's really no point for you guys to be in each other's lives anymore because you're both starting off a new chapter if that makes sense and you're just not really you're just not really a match anymore it doesn't matter if this is a this was a romantic connection or a more platonic friendly connection i'm just really seeing that this is for the greater good this is so each one of you can be happy and continue living happy lives because I do feel like there might have been a lot of tension in this connection. You've gone through a lot with this person and what I'm thinking is that they just don't want to be reminded of some of the things that you experience together and whenever this person is with you they get reminded by something that happened to you in the past. So they really just they want a fresh start because I see this as someone that is very ambitious this person has a clear vision of what they want in the future they're currently working hard to achieve some of their personal goals some of their goals regarding uh, their job because right now their focus really is on work and they're creating a happier and more sustainable future for themselves it could also be that they just simply feel like they don't have the time to hang out with you and they don't want to be mean or rude so they decided it's just best to remove you from their life because I can see that their circle is extremely small. In the past they might have been really outgoing and seemed like they had a lot of friends but now they keep their circle extremely small because they've realized they have only so much time and right now they just cannot concern themselves with other people's problems, other people's business because they've got a lot going on in their own life as well they just want to do what makes them happy and I just feel like you've brought some type of energy into their life that they really didn't like um, like once you started talking about more personal stuff something that was really close to your heart maybe or um, maybe you've told them a lot about your issues and something along those lines they just didn't want to deal with this I really don't want to be rude like I just want to bring the news to you that there was something about you that maybe you felt like uh, too much work for them okay so th they really think you are a very complicated person and there's something that they wanted to get rid of they wanted to grasp for fresh air they wanted a new start and that is why uh, the last thing I'm getting is that they were actually intimidated by you they had anxiety they they just didn't know what to say and they felt like you were maybe good too good for them you were more evolved and they were really overwhelmed with the fact that you texted them or that you wanted something from them but it's all for the greater good because you were meant to move on from this anyway there's a new start coming up for you as well and it is best to leave this one in the past that's all I can say 
um, don't even think about this person too much because they found it really easy apparently to move on from you so you should be doing the same thing absolutely 100% and that's all I can say so I hope I wasn't being too harsh I just simply wanted to deliver the truth to you I just I just didn't want to sugarcoat anything so if the message doesn't resonate then it wasn't meant for you and if it did don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for clicking the bell if you want follow my instagram and with that being said thank you so much for watching hey there group number three let's find out what's going on with your person why did they do this okay so for your tarot cards we've got the devil uh the queen of cups and the three of swords okay and then we've also got these two cards and they say money and malady illness so it's really interesting i would say this person's actually lovesick because if we trust these cards then your person is extremely heartbroken they are very upset and they did feel like they were playing with a devil while being with you for some reason being with you was like a toxic addiction for them because they i mean they do care a lot about you that's out of question i can see that but the thing is you might have said something or you might have uttered some kind of concern to begin with and they really took that the wrong way because right now they feel like if they can't have you it's just the easiest way to just block you um, there's something that you did that certainly did break their heart or maybe their heart is broken because they had to get rid of you but this person is very upset right now and they're trying to regain their composure they're trying to become more emotionally stable like the queen of cups that's what she is working towards that's what your person is working towards and right now they're trying to make sense of all the emotions that they're feeling because this is certainly a really significant and important connection in their life or this has been a very significant connection in their life it doesn't even matter if this is your partner or if this was your partner or your friend but this person's been through a lot with you and it's really really not easy for them to let go but also this person's uh, sick in a way and they really are saving up a lot of money to get some kind of surgery or to get something done because if we look at the bottom row there's a disease an illness uh, that this person is dealing with and they want to get treatment it could also be a mental stuff but uh, they, they do I, I think uh, they might be seeing a therapist actually that's what I'm thinking so it's definitely not easy for them and for some reason you meant a lot to them even if this was a quite new connection they just it really it really did break them because they've they'd already imagined the future with you in their head and how they wanted it to go and I feel like then you said something that really concerned you and they kind of took it the wrong way and yeah this might have been a huge misunderstanding for some of you guys but the reason they blocked you is because they were upset they just couldn't look at your pictures anymore watch your stories anymore because that would just like make it even worse for them they feel like they're gonna forget about you eventually as time goes by as long as they stop stalking you and as long as they just you know focus on themselves I guess but yeah the reason they blocked you is simply because either if this was like a romantic connection then I would say they just cannot deal with the thought of you being just friends or if this was a friendly connection I'm just thinking they just can't pretend that everything's fine anymore when it's not because this person's got some serious issues that they're dealing with struggles mentally especially 
and yeah you were like a toxic addiction maybe this was a toxic relationship toxic friendship um and they came to realize that it's probably best if you end it or if they end it so um some of you guys owe money to this person and for others this person has asked you for a favor and I do feel like you rejected that favor and they got really upset about that that's like another possibility that I'm seeing like they thought you would do everything for them that they could always count on you and they they ended up being really disappointed because of something I just feel like there's been an overflow of emotions they've been feeling all types of ways mad sad angry <laughs> because they didn't really know they, they've they never really felt this way before because you were like really special with you they felt trapped they felt like they were unable to move forward with you there was that there was this standstill and it was like they're just hitting a wall there's nothing they could do so they had to ghost block whatever they had to do something about it because I feel like it was a dead end like they didn't see how this connection would have had any future if that makes sense and yeah it could be because of something that you said because of like a concern that you have uttered but honestly it doesn't look that healthy to me at all so it's probably best this way it's probably best if you all move on from this and there's going to be greater opportunities in the future there's going to be bigger fish to fry again it doesn't matter if this was a partner or if this was a love interest or a friend of yours I'm thinking if they can't have you to themselves they don't want you because they might be a little jealous actually they don't like the fact that you hang out with other people or they don't like some of your friends that's what I'm getting like they want to either treat you like a queen or they want to be treated like a queen <laughs> or yeah there's definitely some type of I want to be the best in here I want to be the best for you I want to be the only one for you in here so yeah it's probably best if you move on from this since it didn't work out I just hope I was able to give you some clarity on your situation and the universe says this connection is over so thank you so much for watching guys and if you did enjoy if it did resonate please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell and if you want to follow my Instagram thank you guys Hey there, group number four. Let's see what's going on with your person. All right, so as for your tarot cards, we've got the Two of Swords and the King of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Mm. Okay, and then we've also got these two cards that say Marriage and Love. Um, well, I hate to break it to you, but this person's getting engaged or married to someone and that's why they stopped texting I'm gonna try and say it in the most respectful way but I do think a lot of you guys have been replaced here mm, I see someone having to make a decision between two people and they cannot have both like there had to be a decision there there was a decision that had to be made and they decided to well they decided for them and that also meant they had to stop texting you even if this is a friendship connection I am seeing that this person is very concerned with like family matters with their partner because they are getting married soon they're in love for some reason the fact that they're getting married also meant that they had to like stop talking to you but it was definitely very hard for them because they this is something that they've been debating for quite a while I just feel like 
they felt trapped, it's not something that they can control. Maybe their partner isn't really fond of them talking to you like at all now. And I do think they like you a lot, but they're in this connection now that they just can't get out of and they don't want to get out of. I do think they're happy. I do think they're happy. So this has been something that's been weighing on their mind for a long time now because I do feel like they've kind of built this strong emotional connection with you but in the end I guess it wasn't enough I don't know why the change of heart but all I'm seeing is that yeah they were very stressed out about this decision and the decision was eventually made that it's better if you guys would stop talking also to be fair since they are in a relationship it wouldn't be fair if they were talking to anyone else I'm thinking with the king of wands they want to practice monogamy like they just want that one person for them and even if you're just a friend if you weren't like romantically involved with this person they're just spending so much time with this partner I mean it sucks that they just threw it away like that with you but I guess it's for the better they yeah they yeah they're not mad at you you didn't do anything wrong this is like an issue that they have and yeah you didn't wrong them either it's just it just wasn't there because I do feel like there's a better match for you out there point blank like even if this was a friend trust me there's like so many full more fulfilling connections you should focus on people that want to spend time with you not on someone that's gonna get rid of you like this and if this was a romantic connection there's a way better match for you out there trust me because you deserve you are very deserving of someone who wants to sacrifice their time just to be with you and not the opposite all right I really hope that it did resonate just take whatever does and leave the rest thank you for watching if you did enjoy this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and hit the bell and if you want follow my Instagram thank you guys Hello there to the fifth group. If you chose the Amethyst, let's find out why this person broke it off. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. Okay, and then we've also got these two more cards and they say some money and we've also got a sweetheart here that's involved in this. Alright. First random message I'm getting like right away is that they'd like to get their belongings back. They're mad because you have something really personal to them, but then again, they don't want to talk to you about it because that means, you know, obviously they would have to contact you again, which they don't want to do, I guess. But there's something in your possession that used to belong to them that they really, really want to get back that's like something that I'm noticing here um yeah it could be it could be money but honestly no I'm thinking this is a this is like something personal this might be something you can't just buy or maybe it costs that much that they can't just buy it again like that but yeah that's something that I'm seeing and this person is definitely really like all they think about is money here money and getting away with everything that's like how I see them right now this person's uh, concerned with their family they I feel like they're building a life right now with their family it doesn't matter if you were romantically involved with this person or if it was just a friend of yours but this person's really focusing on their family relations they might simply not have time 
for you, I guess. Um, also, money is is big. They they want to they they want to earn a lot of money. They're working. They want to get rich. That kind of stuff. And I just feel like they don't have that much time in general. And they're not. They at least at the end of this connection they weren't being completely honest with you I feel like they wanted to get something out of you like there's there was a personal benefit that they would get out of talking to you and that's why they kept hanging on but as soon as that like as soon as they didn't profit from you anymore they weren't shy to just you know break it off either that's what I'm thinking and nonetheless I do see a very sweet, tender, maybe even like shy and reserved person in their life right now. And that person is like very obedient. And that's what your person likes. Because this person listens to them and they pretty much do whatever your person tells them to do. And your person loves being the dominant part of the relationship or the friendship because they just love when they can like make someone do what they want that's what I'm getting and yeah they get away with it most of the time because this person's really charming they might be really pretty or handsome and they think because of that they can get away with everything and one more thing that I've noticed is that they might be struggling a little financially as of right now because they could maybe lend some money from someone and they're looking for like ways to make money or even sneaky ways to get to some money because they've got a lot of things that need to be covered and they simply don't have enough money for that and I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the fact that they decided to ghost you or that they decided to block you so yeah this is what I'm seeing they've lost some kind of advantage that they used to have when they were with you cuz they did they did see you as a friend but they also saw something else it was really easy for them to get something because of being with you if that makes sense they saw the perks of being your friend and yeah this this doesn't sound like the healthiest connection to be honest so it's probably best if you move on from this I'm gonna be honest um, that's what I saw for you guys I really hope that it did resonate remember not to take any message if it doesn't and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell if you want, follow my Instagram. Thank you.